red green color blindness. Apparently I am a dichromat. I first found out inconveniently when I was driving and couldn't tell the difference between the stoplight colors. So like since I started driving, I've learned just to be able to tell which lights are top, middle, bottom. So when I'm driving, I know that if it's in the middle, I need to slow down, whatever. I don't really know the colors, but I know the position. So the first time we drove down to Florida, my wife has been used to uh, just me knowing the stoplights. It doesn't even cross her mind that I'm colorblind enough. So the first time we go to Florida, I'm driving along, driving along, and she's talking to the kids in the back seat, and I'm like, honey, what color is the light? She's like, what do you mean? All the lights go sideways in Florida. They're not up and down like they are in the rest of the United States. And so I didn't know which light, I didn't know if the green was on the left or the right or which one was red, so I'm like barreling into this intersection, basically, while I'm trying to elbow my wife, trying to say, I need to know what color the light is. And it had been so long since she'd had to deal with my color blindness, everybody in the car kind of freaked out. Um. I am mostly my green color blind, but like colors with red in them can uh, are hard to sometimes see. I remember at least the story that was always told to me um, how they found, my parents found out I was color blind was that I was like in kindergarten and I was getting in trouble because like those color stations and they would be like go to the red station or green station. I would go to the wrong station, so I get in trouble and eventually. They're like you know they figured out that I wasn't trying to. Make, like trying to go to the wrong place, I was just not able to tell. Colorblindness doesn't really change my daily life. Um, all like sometimes it can be hard to see colors and certain lighting. It mostly just uh, if I'm like doing art or something that's important to have color, it can be hard. But besides that, day to day it's fine. I'd not be colorblind if I could be. Um, you know, it's kind of the thing where like I guess I see the world differently, but like it's not really, you know perspective, I guess. I have red-green color blindness. I was born with color blindness, so pretty much since birth when I was you know, older and older and learning colors and I don't remember exactly what age, but at some point you know, I kept getting colors wrong and, and um, so at that point we knew. Um, but had all, they had already, my mom and dad already suspected, already suspected because I have uh, male cousins who are color blind. You know, color blindness tends to be a passed on by moms to their male sons. Um, I don't have any brothers, but I have male cousins. Uh, uh, my mom's sisters had sons, and they were colorblind and older than me, so there was a, we, we knew there was a chance. And then as I, at whatever age, we, they started figuring out that I, as you learned their colors, and I was getting many of them wrong, I had to, at that point they kind of knew, and, and eventually got tested and, and failed the test miserably. So, yeah. I mean, I'm been born this way, I you know, used to it uh, since birth, so you, you just you just get used to it. Um, day to day, just a couple things come to mind, like if I get new clothes, um, I, I don't know what matches what and I will see it wrong. Uh, so I'll just ask my wife, does this match, this shirt match this pants or whatever. Um, but once I know, because I've had it for a while, I just remember those pants and shirts go together or not. So. When I was a teenager, high school, I was pretty sure I wanted to be an Air Force uh, fighter pilot. Um, talked to Air Force recruiter types and warned them that I was colorblind. Uh, could I still do it? I, I was thinking the answer probably would be no, but I wanted to check. And it was no, so I couldn't do it. Uh, and then I asked if I could be the navigator person who sits behind the pilot uh, and helps out and still couldn't do that so my, my flying career ended right there. <laughs>